Good morning, and welcome back to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is October 28th, and our reading is E-G-O. Edging God out is popular in academia, the media, and Hollywood. It's no wonder so many people enter adulthood as hostile, militant nihilists. This is a problem because never in history has there been a successful society based on fear, anger, resentment, self-pity, and envy, i.e. the very forces that drive our current culture. The God of our understanding, or complete misunderstanding, does not have to be Charlton Heston with a big stick. Good, orderly direction works just fine for Buddhists. Agnostics with trust issues may prefer Gus, great universal spirit, as in, hey Gus, how about a hand? Atheists claim self-sufficiency. Good luck with that. In any case, Edging God out has not been an unambiguous success. It doesn't matter who or what we choose for a higher power, as long as it's not us. We are all faced every day with the same choice that Job had, really, the the choice between doubt and faith. Doubt is black. It probably causes colon cancer, and it, and it's coming from nowhere. It's got no place to go. It offers nothing. It doesn't have any good ideas. It's just a long series of yeah, buts, and you don't understand, and what about this? And on the other hand is faith. And faith in what? Faith that we were not created to act like this. We heard a a new version of F-E-A-R from our friend from October 8th. You know who you are. And, and this, this is a great one. For, forgetting everything is all right. That's what happens when we have no faith. That's what happens when we give in to doubt and, and misery and, and, oh, poor me, poor me, pour me another drink. This uh, whole thing about, well, I can't possibly in- believe in your invisible friend. Nobody asked you to. There, <laughs> in our case, we're Buddhists. We don't have an invisible friend. There's the way things are and uh, the way the universe is and the world of consequences in which we live. There's that. I have faith that there are consequences to our act. And when we act right, good things happen. And when we don't, boy, we sure find out about that too, often a lot faster. So let's not forget that everything is all right just the way it is. Please check the description box for the table of contents of the book, Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. That's available on Amazon. There are also the 11 playlists on this channel, and you can take a look at those. They might help you figure out what we're trying to do here. And happy trails to you until we meet again.